welcome back everyone uh, the last part that we had to discuss the last point that we had to discuss in this section is how to convert a master detail to lookup and uh, vice versa and going back from uh, lookup to master detail uh, it's not very difficult it's uh, quite easy and quite uh, feasible so uh, let's just jump to our salesforce org and let's try to achieve that so uh, for the demo purpose i have created two objects one is parent and one is child okay i have named them similarly to uh, for for easier understanding and i've not created any records okay uh, in each of them so if we create a record uh, then we cannot create a master detail relationship if a child has already has a record created then we cannot create a master detail relationship for that we have to create a lookup then we have to populate the master and uh, i mean the parent class and then we have to convert it okay so uh, let's just quickly try uh, show you how the fields are and right now i have just created a simple relationship uh, as a lookup relationship between parent and child the object here so uh, we will jump to the child object and we will quickly take a look at the fields to see if we have any relationship between them and uh, custom fields and relationships as we see it's it is uh, it has a lookup field okay and it is connected uh, connected to parent okay via a lookup relationship okay so what we are trying to achieve is we will try to convert this lookup into master okay so how we can do that we just go ahead and edit it and we change the field type okay and under the field types we will choose master detail relationship and we click next once we do that we will be able to convert that okay so let's try to do that okay okay and if you want you can also check this box which says child records can be reparented to other parent records after they are created so what this means is uh, you can change the parent of the child object if you check this box okay so we can check this and we can click next okay we click next and we follow this prompt we click save okay so now if we jump to child uh, and we go to the fields we should be able to see that it is converted into a master detail relationship okay and if we want to convert it back to lookup that is just similarly we just go ahead and edit it and we change the field type it will be converted into the lookup relationship but sometimes there are limitations uh, on which situations if you uh, want to convert you will not be able to you will not be allowed to do that okay so let's see what those situations are so if you're trying to convert from master to lookup okay if you have already created a roll up summary field okay in the master relation in the master object then you will not be allowed to convert that relationship into a lookup okay so let's see that okay so let's jump to the parent object and try to create a field which is roll up summary field okay and we are going to create a new field okay in the previous sections i have already uh, covered how to create a, a summary field okay so you can go back to my previous video and you can see that okay so here we have a roll up summary field and we click next all right and we put the field name as roll up summary okay and click next okay uh, just for simplicity we will keep it as child and we'll click count click next next and save okay so now as we have created a roll up summary field in the parent record um, uh, the parent object now if we try to convert it back to the lookup relationship we uh, we won't be able to do that so let's try to 
see what error we get. Okay, we go to the view fields and we'll try to edit the field and convert it to a lookup relationship. Okay, now it's master detail. We'll try to edit it. And we try to change the field type. I don't think uh, we will not even get the option for the changing the field type as we already have the rollup summary field. So if we go ahead and uh, go back and in the parent record, we'll have to in the parent object, we will have to delete the rollup summary field. Only in that case, we will be able to create the relationship, uh, convert the relationship into lookup. Okay, once we delete that, okay, we erase that completely. Okay, yes, just confirm and then click delete. Okay, now if we try to go to the child, okay, and if we try to convert the relationship, now it's master detail. If we click on edit. We get the option to change field type. This was not visible previously as we already had a, a roll up summary field created in the parent. Okay, so if you want, we can change the field type and we can change it back to lookup. Okay, we click next. Okay, we click next. And save it. Now it's trying to convert, and it was successful. Okay, so if we just take a look at the relationship, now it's lookup. Okay, and in which situation uh, we will not be able to, we will not be allowed to convert a lookup into master if we have created any record. Okay, in the child object, if we have created a record and that record does not have any parent populated, okay, if, if we have not chosen that field okay then we cannot convert that because in the master detail relationship that field is required that's a mandatory field okay but in lookup it's not mandatory so if we just leave it as it is and we click on save it will allow us to save the record okay so here there's no parent okay and i've just created two fields one is the lookup relationship field and one is the auto number field in the child object now, if we go back to the child and we go to few fields and we try to convert this lookup into master, it will not allow us to. All right, so we change the field type and we choose master detail. Click next and we click save. Trying to update. And it throws you the error. Cannot create master detail relationship. You cannot create a new master detail relationship on an existing custom object if the records already exist. Okay, so what we have to do, we, have, we must have to, we first have to create the lookup relationship, which is already there. And we have to populate the lookup field with the detail uh, of the master. Okay, and then we have to convert it back. All right. So we just go ahead and we try to look up Oh, there's no master created yet. Okay, so to create a master first. Okay, let's create a new record for master. Okay, and we populate that here. Okay, as a master and we have to convert it now. Now it will allow us either the, we can do this or we have to delete this record. Okay, either of these we can choose according to our requirement. Okay, now we try to convert this relationship into master detail, we will be allowed to. Okay, so we go ahead and edit this field and we change the field type and we choose master. Click next. We click save. Okay, it's updating the record and it should be changed. So if we take a look at the fields here now, now it is master detail, right? 
So uh, I've shown you both the situations, how to convert a uh, lookup to master and master detail and in which situations we will not be allowed to do that. Okay, just keep these points in mind and uh, you should be good to go. All right, and uh, if you need more information about uh, Salesforce, you can just comment down below and you can, you can uh, just let me know what all topics you want to know. Okay, and if you want to contact me for any Salesforce training or uh, development or consultant training or even for admin training, you can contact me on these two. So you can either email me, I'll be very prompt in replying to the emails or you can also WhatsApp me or you can give me a call. Okay, I'm always be available. Okay, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good day. Bye.